Okay, so we are recording a video on my review of Rock Burger by David Williams and Grandpa's Great Escape by David Williams. So we're going to start with Grandpa's Great Escape. Um, it's about this boy called Jack and his grandfather um, was a Spitfire pilot in the war uh, the Battle of Britain. And his grandfather gets all confused, so Jack tries to help by pretending the war is still on. So then he starts like talking all worry, like uh, Jack is the squadron leader, and his grandfather Arthur is the wing commander. So every time he would say something, he'd be like wing commander, something like that. Um, and if if he's good enough. Um, in he gets sent to Twilight Towers, um, which is this horrible folks' home. If I can get a picture of it, of it here, there it is. Twilight Towers there, and he has to get. He has to escape, and his little grandson is in on the mission. And um, um, uh, and then um, they to do that they have to get past security guards, um, a, a wicked matron, nurses, nurses, um, tanks. Uh, they have to make a rope and knickers to escape, and they, and um, and they get caught. So then Grandpa um, and Jack, or Wink Mother and Squadron Leader, are trying to do like dress up as nurses and try and like distract everyone else and uh, the nurses and everyone is looking for them and while the matron has this like electrical fork thing and it, they're trying to zap them and then that would knock them out cold and then they can do what they want to them but Jack is only a little boy of course so he's gonna have to try and think of a plan as quick as he can but as they're dressed up as the nurses they're obviously gonna be looking for them but they might get caught out so who knows what's gonna happen so as I said we have rat burger as well but I'll just show you the cover Airplane that grandfather there was in during the war. Grandpa's great escape. Up, up, and away. So that's Grandpa's great escape. Now, Rat Burger is about this girl. Her name is Zoe. Show you the cover there. Uh, this book is rat infested. And by the way, hopefully today, praying. The Lords that I will be getting Gangster Granny, that's what it's called, Gangster Granny. It's just show you there. It's this one here. I'll just show you here now. Okay. It's right there, Gangster Granny. Okay, so Rat Burger is about this girl. Her name is Zoe. And she has a pet hamster, but it dies. Bitch, like pan tragic or die thing but her hamster dies and her hamster is called ginger not only does her hamster die her mother dies so then she has this evil stepmother that she has to try and like get rid of i guess and but in school, instead of school dinners, they have burgers that are... Let's just say the sauce is from cockroaches and the burger is from rats. And this TV chef, he goes to a school to try and get them to eat healthy because they're on top of the world's 
um, not healthiest schools, if you know what I mean. Like they're the unhealthiest school in the in well, they're top in the unhealthiest schools in the country, not the world. No. <laughs> Um, if it was the world, that'd be a bit gross. So then this TV chef, Charlie Jacobs, comes to their school and tries to get them to eat healthy. But then, um, Bart, the burger man, this lad right here, big chubby man, he um, has a mallet and a pulverization machine where he puts the rats in to make them into burgers. But he... There was this person went missing. He was a inspector, a health inspector. That's it. And Bart the Burger Man uh, hit him with a mallet. He also, also he did. He um, he he pulverized him into a burger, and he did the same with the chef Charlie Jacobs, and then. Zoe one evening finds a rat um, and makes it into her pet and calls it Armitage. And um, she um, gets suspended from school from having the rat in, in school because uh, um, the teachers find it on top of her head. Um, find a picture here. Oh, it's a bit back. One second. No, I'll pause it till I find it. Okay, so I found it. Uh, she gets suspended for having the rat in school. She's right there. The rat is on her ponytail. Hopefully you can see that. And then, when she gets suspended, Bert the Burger Man tries to be a, a what's the name? The pest, the pet control control man, and he um, is trying to get the rat taken away from Zoe. And so she puts the rat, like a like stuffed animal um, hamster, into the cage. And then Bert finds out and then put, and then she takes the rat out of her pocket and puts it outside. And they're on the 37th floor of this flat block. And then they... Uh, she tries to get Armitage back, so she decides to dig through a wall of the flat and finds Tina Trotz, the school bully. Then her stepmother, um, Sheila, finds out, and then that she's digging through the wall, and Tina Trotz wakes up. Then they have like a tug of war, and then the wall breaks. Because Tina Trotz pulled um, Sheila into the wall and made a bigger hole. And it made a boom crash sound. And then that's the size of a hole in the wall. And then... There's this... Garage thing that ha has... Um, pulverization machine in it and Bert uses it for his garage for his van and the pulverization machine and makes his burgers and has loads of rats in cages but then he takes Armitage the next morning on the talent show day the school TV talent show and then Zoe tries to get her back and Tina trots which they are now friends apparently Zoe and Tina Trotz, or just Tina, if, if you want. Um, she goes to get Armitage back, but before she does that, she 
Well, she does do it, but she goes into Bert's van, finds out what's happening. Bert finds her, and she knocks the glasses off Bert. And he had no eyes. It was like this. He was just like that. But no eyes. He was gone. His eyes were gone. Uh, he had no eyes, and then she freaks out and just legs it. She runs to her dad, which is in the pub, who was in the pub. And his name is... Actually, his name was never mentioned. But, um, then... Uh... Then her dad helps her um, get Armitage back, which is very difficult to do because they're at the flat block waiting for them to get the... so they um, want to give Armitage back, but they don't. It's just a trap so they can put them in the van, throw them in the van, um, make like tie them up or something. Like We don't know the plan exactly because it was never mentioned. They just ran back. And they took the shortcut, and they got there before Bert and Sheila, but they couldn't find Armitage. They looked through all the rat cages, but all of a sudden, um, Bert had Armitage in his pocket the whole time, so they wasted their time looking for him. And then, Dad is almost thrown into the pulverization machine, um, but then it counters back. Because this wooden thing, um, they spot Sheila and Bert step onto it, and then they fall into the pulverization.